I love all this conversation about sort of longevity and the whole career as opposed to just sort of one moment in somebody's career. Um, I'm curious, we've talked a lot about the beginning stages of an author's career when they're first working with you, but I'm curious about sort of an author who maybe has either been traditionally published or independently published, and they're they're looking at sort of making a next step and what you as an agent can kind of say to them about how working with an agent and, and focusing on that long-term career can kind of help them move up in their publishing journey, whatever that looks like for them. Yeah, I mean, and that is kind of a, a, a time at which people might change agents or just like their agent may have retired, they find themselves needing a new agent, like those kinds of things can be quite a good reset. I do have a couple of writers um, who are more experienced, have been published before. Um, and it's a, it's a kind of a bit of a reset because I won't have the same views as necessarily as their old agent, but also their career might just naturally be at a point where it needs a bit of a refresh where it needs a bit of you know and um it's just about strategizing i guess with that author and taking the strengths that they had the things that they're known for the things that have they've been successful at and adapting it to the new marketplace um and i think a new agent who maybe you know it it tends to be if you're a new agent you are more familiar with some of the newer editors for example rather than having those older established relationships with older editors so it's I think it can be like a fresh pair of eyes in so many ways and yeah it can really like revive your career It, it can make you know it's obviously a bit more complicated because you're dealing with someone at a different stage of their career and they have already been through these experiences but I guess as long as everyone is open minded and understanding then I think, so in my experience, those relationships can be really productive. Thanks for watching this clip from the History Quill podcast, all about writing and publishing historical fiction. If you want to find out more about the topics discussed, check the description for a link to the full episode and the episode page on our website, where you can access a range of relevant resources. You can also join our email list to receive new podcast episodes and more content for historical fiction writers. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and switch on notifications.